Hey, we're covering five steps to stop suicidal thoughts and stop hearing voices. We're getting right into the material. Let's start. All right, number one, how to stop hearing voices and how to stop having suicidal thoughts. Number one is repentance and confession. This comes from James 5. It says to confess your faults one to another, that your sins will be forgiven and that you shall be healed. And so what happens is that you have sin, iniquity, or transgression in your life that creates open doors for a devil's demons um, and Satan. <laughs> you know, so what you have to do to stop hearing voices is to repent. What repentance looks like is um, just a confession of um, faith that Jesus Christ is your Lord and personal Savior, and you're in need of him to forgive um, you of your sins through the blood of Christ Jesus. And so what you want to do is literally confess your faults one to another, uh, find a spiritual leadership when it comes to a local church, um, church body Bible study, or um, discipleship group, or accountability partners that you confess these suicidal thoughts and hearing voices to them so you can go to the proper spiritual leadership to um, basically free you from all um, generational curses, any soul ties, any things that is of the demonic, the occult, and uh, Freemasonry and witchcraft, okay? Number two, you need in this repentance to cast out all demons and devils by breaking um, spiritual ground and eye gates, ear gates when it comes to entertainment, movies, music, um, that is foreign and strange God. Uh, guys, this comes from Deuteronomy 17. You'll have no gods besides um, me. Uh, God is a jealous God. This is the first commandment, okay? And so anything of witchcraft so that is yoga meditation um dark satanic um movies um habitual sin when it comes to sexual immorality homosexuality um uh, porn masturbation um rebellion um against your parents against uh, authority figures blaspheming the holy spirit um ouija boards um paganism new ageism meditation astrology horoscopes zodiac signs you need to cut it all out um, all these books that are foreign that are not the bible cast it out don't have anything to do with it repent and ask the lord to forgive you so that you could be free from it okay so how to stop hearing voices number three you need to read your bible daily in beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god that is john 1 1 and first corinthians 10 says that we take every thought captive um to make it submit to the word of god and so if you are hearing voices if you're having suicidal thoughts the word of god is our sword of the spirit, which is Ephesians 6. This is a two-edged sword able to separate bone from marrow, the thoughts of man uh, from his intentions, the heart of man uh, from his soul and spirit, okay? And so you need to test every spirit if it is from God. That's First John 4. And by doing so, the word of God will cleanse you from any demonic oppression, sub um, depression oppression or possession um, when it comes to that you are giving them legal rights okay <laughs> and so this is number four uh, three or something um, which actually should have came on um, quicker is you need to confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and that you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit this is John 3 this is John 4 and this is first John 4 as well and Romans 10 9 through the confession of your faith, um, you will receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit is dwelling on the inside of you, you will no longer hear um, voices, you will no longer engage with suicidal thoughts, but you will hear from the Holy Spirit, which is a still small voice, okay? Um, so repent, confess, um, read your Bible, cut out weird stuff and so we're on number four 
which is fasting and prayer. And this comes from Mark 9. This kind only comes out by prayer and fasting. And so there, this level of faith or these types of demons only come out by prayer and fasting. So what you have to do is not engage in um, all of this um, stimulation because it says in Romans 12, 2, that um, don't conform to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So what the devil does is that he comes against your minds with these suicidal thoughts and he engages in spiritual warfare, but our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but they are spiritual. And so you must, you have to rebuke him by the power of the Holy Spirit that's on the indwelling of you. And so you have power uh, to cast him out in the name of Jesus Christ, by the name and blood of Jesus as your Lord. So confess that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is the Son of God, and Jesus um, was risen from the dead, and Jesus came in the flesh, and boom, you are all set to go, okay? Um, number five, um, pray, um, yes, but also have thanksgiving. Um, actually, I'm staying on number four with prayer and fasting. Have thanksgiving. Um, begin to thank God for who he is, what he has done. Confess Jesus as Lord and worship him um, in spirit and in truth. And this is through the reading of the Bible, committing um, to fellowship with him because the Holy Spirit, as clearly as I'm speaking to you, can speak um, just as well when it comes to instruction and if you're being plagued by anything like maybe rape, incest, molestation, anything that's happened in your family or whatever, begin, um, that's a spirit of torment which comes from the devil because the devil has come to kill, steal, and destroy. But God has come through Jesus Christ, being God himself, to give you life and life more abundantly. And um, so as you begin to thank God, uh, Philippians 4, um, God has not given you the spirit of anxiety, has not, uh, have not either, and also not, have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Why does everything go back to the mind? Because this is what the devil attacks. This is why we have the helmet of salvation. Salvation clears your thoughts. If you're not saved, you're not going to have clear thoughts. <laughs> um, but um, he, he says, you know, uh, have not given us the spirit of fear. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. But power, love, and sound mind. But Philippians 4 says, be anxious for nothing, but in prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, make your petitions known to men, and then a peace that surpasses all understanding will overtake you. And so this is the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that it will overtake you, okay? And last one, um, number five, is to walk in your deliverance um, through the power and manifestation of um, this. And so this comes from, who? Mark 17, 16, um, and also Matthew 10 and Luke 10, that these are the signs that will follow them who believe. They'll be able to cast out demons. They'll be able to um, baptize um, with his Holy Spirit. Um, they'll be able to speak in new tongues. They'll be able to um, drink poisonous things and won't harm them. They'll be able to like tread on scorpions and vipers and they'll be okay. Okay, so you are saved. Um, you already said um, this confession. Um, all this stuff and these instructions, they have worked. Um, but you have to work, um, walk, not work, you have to walk in your deliverance by the confession and the proclamations that you make, all right? Don't murmur, don't have unbelief, because it says once a demon is casted out, it goes to and fro finding house. And when it does not find a place, it goes back to that person with seven demons worse than the first, okay? So if you truly believe that all you, if you make the confession that I said um, earlier, that you are delivered, you are delivered. And you are saved. So those are the five steps for stop stopping hearing voices and stopping suicidal thoughts. And just walk in it, believe in it, read your Bible, pray fast, um, and you'll be good. This is the finished work of Christ Jesus. So thank you for watching The Blessing Report. Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy on TheBlessingReport.com. Come back every Wednesday and Sunday for new videos. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Share this with um, someone that you are concerned with, and they will be set free and delivered. Thank you.